has to be covered quite deeply. I would like to show you a uh, movement that can be used as a basis, and if you want to pursue it, you can pursue it through looking at the back chapters of the Kodokan Illustrated by Jigoto Kano. Everything that uh, Sensei Gilman teaches as his own was printed in that book in 1906. I don't think Sensei Gilman was around back then. But uh, Kano's staff was. And they, they taught Dilma principle because it's part of the ate. Atemiwaza, striking techniques of the Kodaka. Illustrating it, if you would assist me, please. Yeah, I'm on my way on right hand. Take me, take me, take me. I don't let it go again. What's happening is those meridians exist. They're about the size of a quarter. They are, you can equate them in your mind to junction boxes or switch boxes in an electrical system. There's one here, one here, and one here. Now the brain says, hold on. That's this one here. This one says, I'm holding. So the brain relaxes. This one says, open the hand. You have to hit them in sequence. Very gentle. Doesn't take any, if you do pressure on it, they're gonna guard themselves. Body's a marvelous machine. It will, it will protect itself. One, two, three. And his hand opens up. And all you have to do is be very, very light. Don't, don't get invasive on his skin or his muscle structure. Light. So let's try it.